I remember my very first meeting with Cedric. He comes to me, he's like, Tim, I got a film crew. We're doing five videos a week. We're putting a lot of production into these high quality videos and I'm stuck at about 80,000 subscribers. I gain a little, lose a little every month. I'm not really getting traction and my revenue is flat too. I'm only doing about $20,000 a month. He's like, I know I have a lot more opportunity to grow. In one month, we introduced to him the strategy I'm gonna tell you here and he went, in one month, still doing five videos a week, but they are a lot less produced and a lot easier for him to make. And the result is that he 5X'd his channel growth. He 5X'd in one month the amount of subscribers and views he was getting every month on his, on his channel and his videos. And he 5X'd his revenue. He went to doing $100,000 in the very next month with this process and this new strategy i'm going to introduce you to you today if you feel stuck and you want more subscribers make more money and not really change the amount of effort you're doing that's what's coming up in this video Hello, my name is Tim Schmoyer. Welcome here to Video Creators, where we are all about helping those of you who are small business owners be able to win on YouTube, growing your audience, growing your channel, and growing your business all at the same time while changing more people's lives. How do we actually grow our channel and our money at the same time? What does that type of strategy look like? The mistake a lot of people make is they have like 15 different goals for every video they make. They need every video to get a lot of views, to get a lot of uh, subs, they want it to get a lot of comments, they want every video to get a lot of likes, they want it to rank number one, they want it to uh, generate a lot of leads, uh, they, want to, they want a lot of traffic to their website, they want it to maybe go big on Reddit, they've got like all these things, right? The problem is we want to do all these different goals with one video, you kind of get what, what I call the, the, the Swiss army knife, uh, which means it's doing like a lot of things, but nothing well. And so what I want to show you guys to do, encourage you guys to do instead, is make sure that you have an intentional strategy that behind every single video that you're making. You've got your whole channel here. You've got like your channel art here at the top. You've got your, your trailer video here and a, and a whole bunch of videos below it. Let's say you've got like this playlist right here of some videos and, and, and so on, right? What is the goal of this video? And how is that might be different than the goal of this video or that video or this video? The problem with Cedric and his channel is it wasn't growing because he was trying to do all those things in every video. And so the first thing I told him is like, you need to have an intentional goal for every video. You're trying to do too many things. Let's narrow it down. And I gave him this three bucket strategy. Every video you do needs to fall into one of these buckets. And the first one is discoverable content. Now a discoverable video is a video that's intended to go out and get a brand new audience. Someone who's never heard of you before. The only reason why they're clicking on this video is because that title and thumbnail was so stinking good. They have this question mark above their head. They're like, how does that work? It's sparking curiosity. It's literally causing, creating tension in the brain. And the only way for the brain to alleviate that tension is to click. So your opening hook's got to be really good. You got to really deliver on the value that you pitched. Make them feel like, oh my gosh, this is like so amazing. And you got to start throwing in parts of your story there. And, and getting them to like know, like, and trust you a little bit so that when you get to the end of that content, the only goal, the only call to action there of the end of a discoverable video is to watch more. You're not trying to get them to subscribe. Don't ask them to comment or like or do anything. It's just content, 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 value. Don't use any ending language like, Hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think. You know, comment below. All that is a very clear signal to the viewer that this video is now over. No additional value is coming. You may now safely be on your way. And you'll see that right in your audience retention graph. They will just yeah, bonk. So don't do that. Now, the second bucket that you want to get people into is what we call a community video. This video is not going to go big. It's just intended for you to build a better, stronger connection with the people who are already on your channel. People are already following you and, and watching your content. So you could do a little bit more laid back, a little bit less produced. It's maybe something that not a lot of people are searching for, but you know like this is a really valuable topic for or a story for my audience. And the only call to action then on a community video 
is to ask them to start engaging with you in some way, asking them to comment. The first ask is like, hey, just watch more because when they watch more, you are far more likely to show up on the homepage and suggested videos for like the next week. You're just gonna follow them around YouTube and then you're gonna start engaging them. Okay, next step, like let's start interacting here. And then you have your third video, which the only goal of this third video now we call it the sales video. It's not a commercial. It's still really good, high value, valuable video, but the whole thing is kind of like presenting a need and a challenge. And people are like, yes, I need that. I have that challenge as well. And then you get them to buy, download, sign up, register, like whatever the case might be. Now what happens if you try to mix these together, like most people, like Cedric was doing, is that you'll have some people leaving and coming, but you're kind of talking to the same audience again because the discoverable can't be discoverable if it keeps ending the viewing session. You're making a video that you want to go big, but it can't because it keeps ending the viewing session. And that's a really negative signal to YouTube when this video that's hopefully performing well keeps sending people off platform. And the other thing too is like, most people don't buy on their very first exposure to you in a discoverable video anyway. They usually need to go through this process which nurtures a relationship with them. They find you, okay, and then they're starting to build trust with you and then they're ready for the sale. Very rarely do people go from, I discovered you in the first time and now I'm ready to make a transaction. When we started doing this with Cedric, he's like, okay, Tim, I currently do five videos a week and you're telling me that I'm going to go from selling 20 times a month to four times a month and I'm supposed to make more money. And I was like, yes. We did uh, two discoverable, we did two community week, and then we did one sales video a week. Five extra channel growth in one month, it was coming from homepage and suggested. Not just search traffic, which we can talk about another time. You want homepage suggested, that's the best, most valuable traffic source for you. And then he nurtured that relationship with, uh, with some Q and A type of stuff, rep replying to comments type of stuff. And then the, every Friday the sales video came and now people were ready for that sale and they converted much higher because he had a new audience of people coming in now that were ready for that sale. So another way to think about this is if you have like an email marketing funnel or sequence that you use for, for your business, you likely have a lead magnet which gets your email address Then you have like four or five emails that start to build the credibility with that person and then it ends in email number five in a sales email. And so we're just taking like a viewing journey customer journey, we're applying that to YouTube. What's the one thing we want them to take? Not 15 things, giving them too many options is confusing, they end up taking none of them. The one thing I want them to take. Okay, now what's the next step they need to take? All right, now what's the next step they need to take? We're making the path, the journey, extremely clear and not just hoping that every video we do accomplishes 15 different things. We recently worked with uh, another guy named David. This is the graph, the chart that he sent us. He's like, Tim, I've been trying to grow my email list and I'm getting about 10-ish you know, subscribers a week and this is kind of how it's going. And then he started doing this three bucket strategy on his channel. Instead of like 10 to 15 email signups a week, he's getting around 60 a day. It feels counterintuitive to be like, I'm gonna sell less and make more money, but you gotta nurture the, the relationship and get them to the point where they're ready to make the sale while growing the channel at the same time. This is the most, Practical strategy we use with most of our clients, getting them to 18 billion views organically on YouTube. I would highly recommend that you do this. All that sounds great, but what are the top creators doing on YouTube? I put together this video for you right here. I want you to click on that video. And we'll, I'll see you there in just a second. We're gonna talk about the strategy that top creators on YouTube are implementing. And hopefully now since I've done that, you now know which video this is intended to be for me. I'll see you in the next video.